Welcome to our Crazy Life Scotland. It's Fiona here. Oh, and Ranach. Say hello, Ranach. Oh, and Clyde. Hello, Clyde. Anywho, um, I'm just back from Asda, so I've laid out all the keto-friendly stuff, and I thought I would just do a little quick keto haul to show you the keto goodies that you can get in Asda and what I'm going to be having this week. It's the first time I've done this for the keto diet, so we'll see how it goes. Let me know if you like it. Here we go. Okay, so starting with dairy and things, we have eggs, an absolute staple on any diet, especially the keto diet. We have mascarpone cheese. Now this is, hold on, 3.5 grams of carbs per 100 grams. Um, but I've seen a recipe with that for um, scrambled egg and spinach and it just looks lovely. So I thought I would get some of that. We have got some Asda's Creamy Original Soft Cheese. I was looking at all the different soft cheese, trying to get the lowest carbs, and this one was only 4 grams per 100 grams, um, which isn't too bad. So I'm going to make some cream cheese pancakes, I think. Extra thick, fresh double cream, my favourite. I love this at night for my dessert with some berries and some coconut and a wee drop cocoa powder. And that is 2.6 grams per 100 mils. Um, most creams are pretty much of a muchness, really. Some sour cream. I really enjoy this now and again as a dip or instead of sauce on my uh, dinner. And that per 100, gram, eh, per 100 mils is 3.2 grams of carbs. This is the first time I've seen these. I was looking for sort of snacky cheese. And they had the strings and things, cheese shapes, randoms. Now, you get three bags in here. And um, each bag has got 22.5 grams of cheese in it. And, hold on, carbohydrates, zero grams. Obviously, they're allowed to round it down. Um, so there will be sort of trace carbs in it but not too many. I'm actually going to open this and see what's... Ah, so this is what all the little individual bags look like. And you can see the wee cheese shapes in there. They're going to be really handy just for throwing in my bag when I'm nipping out somewhere in case I need a little snack. Perfect. Some Alpro roasted almond unsweetened milk and this is zero carbs, nil carbs. So that's good for hot chocolate. The best butter ever, Kerrygold, love it. I cook with it, I add it to whatever I can to get my fats up. Now I'm gonna be brave. I have never tried Brussels sprouts, not even at Christmas. So um, I'm gonna give them a go. I've seen a nice recipe for them with some butter and bacon pieces. So I'm gonna give that a go. And if I don't like them, it doesn't matter because Jack will eat them. You like Brussels sprouts, don't you? Yeah. Right. Oh yeah, I'm onto the veg in case you hadn't noticed. <laughs> Mushrooms, another keto staple because they're very low in carbs. They're excellent for getting veggies in and getting fats in because you can add mush uh, butter or cream. And I've got a few of the big ones as well. I'm going to have one of them tomorrow night with my dinner. Now, this is actually frozen. The bananas in the background, they're not keto, they're jacks. Now, steam bags of broccoli and courgette rice. Wow, I've got steam bags of cauliflower rice, which is really good. I like to fry that up with some butter. But this is basically just broccoli, courgette and spinach in rice form. So that'll be an excellent keto side um, for the likes of chilli or any sort of chicken and sauce, that sort of thing. Uh, that's frozen, so uh, that's in the frozen section. I have got... Some mild British baby spinach, again, full of nutrition, really excellent um, sides to any dish, or I love it, creamed as well, just adding some cream and garlic to it, oh, so nice. Some spring greens, again, just for a wee change, uh, it's just spring green cabbage, and there's only 1.6 grams of carbs per 100 grams. So I think I'm going to fry this up tonight. I'm going to stir fry that tonight, maybe with a few wee mushrooms and have that with some chicken. Courgette, another good keto veg. Um, I love that 
sort of cut into fry shapes with some Parmesan cheese and baked in the oven, really nice. Or cutting it in half and adding mozzarella and garlic and putting that in the oven, oh, so good. Avocado, a keto diet. Avocado, a keto dieter's dream because it's so good for you and really good for getting in some healthy fats. Fruit is limited on the keto diet, but berries you can have in small amounts. So I've got a nice pack of blueberries. And oh, a lovely big punnet of strawberries. They look lovely for £2. Now, I won't be eating all of these. The girls will be helping me. On to the meats. We've got two thick cut smoked gammon steaks. And they are very low in carbs. Another keto staple, bacon. I do prefer streaky bacon, but this will do nicely because as I had three for a ten, uh, three for ten pound on the gammon steak. Pardon you, Rana. Sorry, that was Rana burping. Three for ten pound on the gammon steak, the bacon, and how good does this look? The duck breast portions. Jack's not keen on duck because it's too fatty. Look at all that gorgeous fat on there. That's going to be so nice when I cook it. Um, so I'm going to have that tomorrow when he's not here and I'll put the other one in the freezer. Some rainbow trout flakes. Excellent on keto. Zero grams of sugar. It's literally just trout flakes cured with salt and hot smoked over oakwood chips. So there is no sugar in there at all. Two wild keto salmon fillets. We love that. Just done in the oven with some onion and garlic. And less than 0 0.5 grams of carbs. A huge, mahoosive big thing of chicken breast fillets. I do prefer it with the skin on, but I can add other fats to it um, when I'm cooking it. Some simply cooked diced pancetta, less than 0 0.5 grams in that, and that's lovely just for frying up and adding to omelettes or, um, in fact, I might actually add that to the Brussels sprouts. Ooh, that would be nice. And I thought I would try the pepperoni, Danish pepperoni. It was only 89 pence, less than 0 0.5 grams of carbs. And I've heard that if you pop that, on a bit of kitchen roll, put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. It goes really crispy, like crisps. And I thought that would be really nice dipped in the sour cream, just as a little snack, if I feel like um, having something naughty sitting watching a film with Jack and the Carols. This was actually from Morrison's. We meant to get one in Asda and totally forgot. It's just a ready-cooked roast chicken, and that's why the dogs are sniffing about. We're having that for dinner tonight. I got some the Squeezy Fuel Peanut Butter Super Seed because it's much easier than having the jars of peanut butter if you need to just measure out a tablespoon. It's easier just to pour it into the spoon. And the ingredients. We have peanut butter, sunflower and chia seeds with sea salt. That is it. There's no palm oil. There's no sugar. There's no nasties at all. And that is 1.9 grams of carbs per 15 grams tablespoon. Smart water. You're laughing at me. Yeah. Don't know why you're laughing at me. You're still in your house coat at this time on a Saturday morning. I was up till three yesterday. Ten till eleven on a Saturday morning, still in your house coat. I was up till three. Yeah, where were you? The Vamps concert. The Vamps concert. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it was in Aberdeen. That's why she was so late back. And poor Jack. Poor Jack had to suffer it. He had to stand. Pretend he was Connor's dad. <laughs> well, some of the wee girls thought he was one of the band members' dads because he was just standing there watching, <laughs> not moving. <laughs> um, and Connor from the Vamps is from Aberdeen, so that's why they thought that. I've got some smart water. I'm going to talk more about this on Monday in my video about fasting, but I've got the berry and kiwi and the green apple, and that's all natural flavour and there's no sweeteners or anything in it at all. My favourite, Pepsi Max Raspberry, and it's so good in the cans. Two bottles of the Pepsi Max Raspberry. And 
for the horrible keto breath I got some Listerine Total Care mouthwash because I can't find a mint that's got a decent sweetener in it. So that is my keto haul this week. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you again next time. Bye!